Hi, my name is Dr. Katherine Mata. I'm one of the obstetricians at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center. I wanted to welcome you to have your experience of delivery at our center. We are very excited to take care of you and make sure that we have a very safe and beautiful delivery. Um, we are gonna talk about C-section specifically, and there's a lot of reasons um, our moms can have a C-section. Um, we do schedule them um, in routine cases, and what the reason we do that is it makes it very smooth and very focused. We have a very large team that takes care of you when you do get to the hospital, so I'm gonna go through some um, basic points that to expect when you come in for your C-section. As you walk in for admitting, you will come through the emergency room department. They will go ahead and prepare your paperwork and bring you over to St. Margaret's for your C-section. Once you are admitted, your nurse will go ahead and bring you to the room. She'll go ahead and put a blood pressure cuff and monitors on you to monitor the baby. She will go through her paperwork, which includes uh, questions to verify um, your medical history. The anesthesia doctor will do the same. When you do have these discussions, the provider has already done this in the office, but will go through the risks and the benefits of your surgery. So the biggest risk with any surgery is bleeding, especially when you're pregnant. So your doctor will also talk to you about your blood type and will make sure that we have that verified through our blood bank. They will also check a blood count, which will make sure that you're safe to undergo the surgery and that the spinal anesthesia is safe. They will also make sure that if there is an increased risk of hemorrhage in your situation, they will have medications and devices in the operating room available if needed. There will also be a part of your consent that will say, do you accept blood in case of an emergency? We will ask that you initial there. And then also if you have any um, religious issues with um, blood transfusions, we would want to make sure we have that conversation in the office. The other thing that can happen with any surgery is infection. We do give antibiotics prior to the incision. We also make sure that before you come in, you do a special prep, which is meaning that you clean your abdomen with something called hip cleanse. It is a special soap. You can also get Dial is also fine. You wanna make sure you clean very thoroughly along the area above your pubic bone, approximately two to three centimeters, and just a real good clean on the abdomen. The other thing we also want to make sure is that you do not eat anything after midnight the night before to make sure there's no risk of aspiration or vomiting during the surgery. Also, we also want to make sure your baby is healthy and ready for the delivery, so when we monitor the baby, if there's any issues with the pregnancy, we will also talk about the NICU being there if needed. We want to make sure everything runs smoothly and efficiently. As you are going back to the operating room, your partner will be seated in a chair outside the room. The nurse will bring you into the operating room and she will have you sit on a operating table. At that point, there's going to be a lot of people in the room doing their jobs. There will be someone doing a count to check the instruments to make sure everything is in the proper order, the count is um, correct. We want to make sure that nothing is left in the abdomen. We also want to make sure that there is devices going on your legs that are going to help with circulation to reduce your risk of clots. We also want to make sure that you're comfortable with the equipment, so your anesthesia doctor will walk you through. They will put a blood pressure cuff in the operating room, EKG monitors. They will also check your oxygen levels. They will make sure everything is safe to proceed with the surgery. After the anesthesia doctor has put your spinal in and we lie you down, they will place a wedge under your hip and that will help with circulation to the baby. The drape will be placed. Your partner will be brought in once that drape is placed. After that, we will make sure that you are comfortable. We will actually use instruments to test and make sure that there is no pain and that you're able to undergo the surgery. We also do put a catheter in the bladder. This is to help keep the bladder out of the surgical field, and this will reduce the risk of injuring the bladder. Other things that can happen during surgery can be that the structures in there can be injured, including the intestines, bladder, the baby can get cut. All of that is very rare, however it's possible, we do everything to avoid those complications. We also make sure that you have allergies that are assessed and confirmed. If you have any latex allergies, we want to make sure that we have the correct equipment and nothing that will cause a reaction, as well as antibiotics that are appropriate for you. After you have had your delivery and you have had the anesthesia wear off, which is sometimes takes three to four hours, your nurse will bring you down to the maternity floor. This is where you will be for the rest of your stay. You will be moved into a maternity room where your husband or partner can be with you at all times. Your baby will stay with you almost 99% of the time. As you get moved into the bed, the nurse or the provider will talk to you about your pain threshold, make sure you're comfortable. They will make sure that you have everything explained as far as expectations for moving and also eating and making sure that everything goes as planned.